Hey guys, welcome to my third channel, which is gonna focus exclusively on soccer. This is my first ever video, and it's an Easter eggs video for the new episode of Champions Season 5. Also, I know a lot of the football audience is more diverse than my other channels on basketball and football, so if you don't speak English, escribí todos los subtítulos en español, francés, y portugués. So click on the subtitles below to enjoy. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. The world's most elite footballers and their managers live together under one roof. Players stop being polite and start getting real. This is the Champions. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the same intro from season 1, 2, 3, and 4, so I'll quickly run through the references one time. Firstly, we see the pool is in the shape of the Champions League Cup. And next to it, we see a pun with a sign saying no diving, a reference to soccer players flopping. In the general plaza, we see Mourinho and Pirlo portraits at the top, with Pirlo chilling in his famous vineyard. At the bottom, we see Rudy Garcia, the manager for Lyon, and Pep Guardiola from Man City. Finally, in the courtyard, we see the statues of Pele doing his infamous bicycle kick and Zidane's famous headbutt in the 2006 World Cup final. Oh, wow. Also, when it cuts to the headbutt, the narrator says getting Real, a reference to Zidane managing Real Madrid. I am a pioneer of football. I was the youngest manager to win the Champions League, and I am the first and only Super League manager to get sacked. The best thing about playing for Atletico Madrid is now I don't even have to pretend to be nice. I have no idea why people at Barcelona were arrested. You come at the king, you better not miss! I swear, I would never turn my back on my team. Hey, look out. So in this intro, we see a ton of modern references. Firstly, we see Mourinho, who references the insane Super League proposal, which Mourinho strongly opposed. At 11.24, the Spurs joined the Super League, and the next morning, they sacked Mourinho, making him the only Super League manager to get sacked, as the Spurs soon left the league after. Right after that is an easy reference to Suarez signing with Atletico Madrid, where he's embraced the villain mentality of the club. Next is Messi, who references his contract feud with the Barcelona executives, and soon after the feud, at the beginning of last March, former Barcelona president, his advisor, the club CEO, and the head of legal services were all arrested. Finally, we see a reference to Ronaldo turning his back on the Porto free kick that would end up eliminating Juventus from the Champions League. Get across to keep it out. So in the sequence, we see a ton of references to other football players. Firstly, we see Sergio Ramos smashing an alarm clock that has a referee pulling out a red card. An easy reference to all the red cards Ramos has collected over the years. After that, we see Muller with a horse, a reference to his love for horses as well as his own horse named Dave. In the next shot, we see Diego Costa chilling off the grid after moving on from Atletico Madrid. Next, we see Alfonso Davies waking up at his number 19 car, a reference to his number in Bayern and how young he is. Next to him, we see Luis Suarez in his mental asylum restraints. This is a reference to the 1991 movie The Silence of Lambs, where the main character, Hannibal Lecter, is placed in the same restraints because otherwise he would eat the guards. This is obviously a reference to Suarez who infamously bites his opponents. Finally, we see an easy reference to Ronaldo rolling out of bed into the tanning bed, a reference to how much he cares about his own appearance. Messi, wake up! Yeah, take a super expert! Why do I have to carry you everywhere? Hey guys, I can carry you all! Here we see a reference to the young players of Barcelona, including Serginho Dest, Ansu Fati, and Pedri. And easily missed references to the bags under Pedri's eyes, a reference to Kuma and overworking him this season. Also, we see a reference to Messi having to carry this young Barcelona squad on a nightly basis, with Griezmann failing to do the same. I've been having trouble sleeping at Barcelona lately. I'm just so uncomfortable. Is it the beds? No, it's the- Yes, it's the beds. We have tried everything to make Messi feel more comfortable. We have removed stress elements from his sleep environment. Every night I check under the bed for monsters and anybody who snores, we just kick them out. We even made plans for elaborate bed renovations to Camp Nou by 2024. Uh, 2025. Someday. Here we see a ton of references from the manager of Barcelona, Ronald Koeman, where he explains that he removed all the stressful elements from Messi's room. The way he does this is by striking out the 8 and the 2 on his clock. This is a reference to Barcelona's terrible 8-2 loss to Bayern in the quarterfinals. Under his bed, they check for monsters, which is just tax law on how to open a Swedish bank account. A reference to Messi's tax fraud case where he defrauded Spain for over 4.1 million euros in tax fraud. 
The manager said they kick out people who snore, which is a reference to all the players Barcelona has moved on from in the last few years, including Rakitic, Vidal, and Suarez. And finally, we see a reference to the ongoing renovation plan to Camp No, which has been postponed multiple times over the past two years. By 2024. Uh, 2025. Someday. Here we see even more references that they snuck into the margins, including a small box of the Goldtron, a reference to the famous giant Goldtron robot from season three, which the goalkeepers flew into space to stop the incoming meteors. As Goldtron. In the mirror we see the VAR drobe, a clever pun referencing that it's a computer wardrobe and the soccer review system VAR. Also in the mirror we see the system checking all Messi's previous outfits which he actually wore to events before, eventually setting on the classic Barcelona uniform. As he walks out of the room, we can see that it's completely neglected, a reference to how Barcelona has neglected Messi over the past few years. On this walkout, we can also see an easy reference to Camp Nou, with a sign saying, under no management. Oh, hey you. I hear you're having a little trouble sleeping. Wow, news travels fast. You should sleep in the Man City rooms. Our beds, mwah, so comfy. I'll think about it. It'll be just like old times. No pressure, no pressure. Leo, baby, you need some rest? Come to Liverpool. Milner can put anyone to sleep. Uh... Just try one night in Paris. Ever since Suarez came to Atletico, he sleeps like a teething baby. Here we see a reference to all the managers trying to convince Messi to join their squad, including Pep Guardiola who tries to convince Messi by saying that'll be like the old times, a reference to Pep coaching Barcelona back in 2012. Next we see Klopp trying to convince Messi to join Liverpool, where he mentions that Milner can put anyone to sleep. This is a reference to Milner having a reputation for being very boring, with Milner even leaning into the joke, as well as the popular Twitter account that was created to make fun of the whole situation. Next we see Maurizio Potecino trying to convince Messi to join PSG, with an obvious reference of wine in France. After that we see Simeone trying to convince Messi to join Atletico, where he references how Suarez, since he left Barcelona to join Atletico, sleeps like a teething baby, another reference to Suarez and famous biting controversies, which you'll see is a running gag in this champion series. An easily missed reference is to all the easter eggs hidden in the background, where we see the references to players who used to play for Barcelona but ended up leaving, including Samuel Eto, Michael Lodrup, Luis Figo, Ronaldinho, Javi, Neymar, and Ibrahimovic. I ate to think you're having trouble sleeping, Leo. <laughs> Here we have even more references to football managers, including Zidane from Real Madrid. If you look closely, an easily missed reference is to the accent on the A of Real, a sneaky reference to Real Madrid, the team he manages. Behind him we see Porto's manager Sergio, who isn't saying much because he doesn't really have a chance at getting Messi, so he just sits there and waves. In front of him is Oli from Man United, Pirlo from Juventus, Conte from Milan, and Tuchel from Chelsea. We also see Brendan Rodgers from Leicester City there, with his infamous envelope which he used to motivate his team. The story goes that he wrote down the name of three players who had let the team down that year, and sealed it in an envelope. He then told his players to make sure they aren't in the envelopes to motivate them. At the end of the year it was revealed that he hadn't written down any names, and he was just using it as motivation. Finally we see Bayern's coach Flick who once again references the quarterfinals by saying he would eight to think you have trouble sleeping. Eight to hate to, another clever reference to Bayern's victory over Barcelona. I guess it can't hurt to try different beds. Maybe I'll be more comfortable sleeping somewhere else. Ah, I am so, so happy that you're here. Tell me, Leo, how does the bed feel? It's nice. You like the sheets? They're 555 million thread count. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway, if you need anything, let me know. But no pressure, okay? Hey, you hungry? Actually, I already... Aguero! Fish and chips. It's an English delicacy. We take the finest fish and potatoes and fry them until there is no food left. Anyways, here's Wonderwall. Ah, no, that's not, that's not the note. No, that's the note. I kind of just want to sleep. Of course, of course. Aguero, clear the food. Get that shit out of here. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Here, I'll leave you some soothing crowd sounds to help you sleep. No. Pressure. Here we see Man City's pitch for Messi to join them, and there are a ton of small references. One easily missed reference is to Guardiola saying, I'm so, so happy that you're here, a reference to one of his most common phrases. I am so, so happy that you're here. 
We are so happy. We are so, so happy. We're so happy. You are so happy? I'm so happy, believe me. We are so happy. We are so happy. I'm happy. I'm so happy. Of course, we are so happy. I was so happy. We are so happy. So that's why we are so happy. Next, we see a reference to Messi's contract with a thread count. As a report came out that Messi's contract is worth 555 million euros over only four years. Next, we see a reference to Aguero's famous goal, which won Man City the Premier League title, with the commentators in famously long celebration. Aguero! Behind it, we also see a painting of a famous moment in the background. Next, we see Guardiola playing Wonderwall, a reference to Man City famously singing the song after their dressing room lights went out. Eventually, Guardiola gives up and throws his guitar on the floor, where Man City's goalie, Anderson, is there to grab it. Right after that, we see Aguero injure his left knee as he's walking out of the room, a reference to Aguero's meniscus injury last year. Finally, we have the scene where Man City's crowd noises are just crickets, a reference to the fact that Man City routinely fails to sell out their arena, leaving the crowd empty and quiet. Uh, psst, yo! Psst, yo! Oh, hi Neymar. Can't sleep! Man City beds suck! Come stay at PSG! They'll get you a mad fluffy bed and even fly your sister out to sing you lullabies! <laughs> Yo, how soft are these sheets, man? Oh, so oh, comfy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Definitely. Sure. Feels like I'm laying in a bed of lotion. Oh, ignore me. I'm not interrupting the sleepover. I just, I made you boys some macaroons. Ew, get out. Don't you knock? Oh, sorry about that. He's our new manager. Here we see a few references to PSG, including the French music in the background, along with Pochettino coming in with the classic French dessert and the colors of the French flag. Also in the bed, we see a reference to Neymar's entourage, who routinely just agree with everything Neymar says. A recurring joke in Champions. Clear my head. Yeah, yeah. we should go somewhere you can clear your head. Idea. Yeah, like Ibiza. In days when all people cared about was flair and cool moves. Oh, I care about on. your flair. I love your tech. Yeah. Feels like all any- Crazy, what is it? Messi, there you are. Oh, I was so worried when you left without taking this sweater I knit you. Messi, stay, have a macaroon. <laughs> Remember the good times we have together. Remember the good times you and Neymar had together? We have unlimited money. So do we. Poch, I told you, you and stay no, away from me. Messi, I told him hey. on Messi. No, 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 we do not have lives in France. I told him too good times. Shut the f up! You think you can buy us with your expensive sheets and your fancy macaroons? It's not about the money! It's a little bit about the money. Okay, it's a little bit about the money. But what about what Messi wants? Did you even think to ask him? Um, what do you want, Leo? I just want to be a team player on a team entirely built around me. Ugh. <sighs> Here we have a couple of more references to Messi's high demands, as he wants to go to a winning team for a lot of money where it's completely based and built around him. When he's explaining this, we see that Neymar ends up stuck behind Messi's shadow, an easy reference to when Messi constantly overshadowed Neymar when they were both in Barcelona together. I think no matter where I go, I'll always have trouble sleeping. Maybe I bring too much baggage. Have you ever thought about going back to our old bed in Argentina? <laughs> Finally, at the very end, we see a reference to Messi's multiple Ballon d'Or trophies that he has won just stuffed on the side of the suitcase, as well as Messi laughing at the suggestion that he returned to his first ever small club in Argentina called New World's Old Boys, as it's not nearly big enough for Messi now. Anyway, that's going to be all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and like this video. If we had 10 likes, I'll be sure to make another episode of this, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.